Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you and possible next actions in the near future. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Uh, let's jump right in. For Taurus, spirit angels, guides, messages please. For Taurus, when it comes to their connection spirit. This reading will be for those of you that are already in a connection or have someone in mind, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. For Taurus spirit, what does Taurus need to know regarding love? How are Taurus and their person thinking or feeling about each other? First, we'll look at your connection, see what is going on there, and then we'll jump into both of your energies for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus, Spirit, and love? What's going on in their connection at this time for Taurus and their person? What's going on in their connection? We have the Moon and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and then we have the Moon here. Well, with the Moon, there's a lack of clarity. Three, uh, four of Wands, Why I was, was going to say three of Wands. Yeah, there's the Seven of Cups. So someone's like, um, there's confusion here, lack of clarity. Um, options, choices, decisions to be made. Um, there's fear, doubt. We'll see what this is about. And I think it has to do with home or love. Tell me about the Moon. Why is the Moon here? Knight of Cups. Why is the moon here? So someone here is, um, what is going on with my deck? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? The Fool. Yeah. It's almost like someone is wondering how the other person is feeling, um, wondering about their own feelings. This Knight of Cups could be an apology. It could be, you know, an expression of interest, of love. It's almost like someone's wondering if someone feels a certain way enough to have a new beginning, to take a risk, a leap of faith here. Maybe you're not sure how you feel or this other person isn't sure how they feel. Tell me more about the moon. It's a very interesting energy. Why is the moon here for Taurus? Why is the moon here? Yeah, okay, so there's something that's not being expressed or not known with the high priestess, the moon. There's a secret or just a lack of clarity. Why is the queen of cups here? We'll have to find out what this is when we look at your energies. Why is the queen of cups here? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Six of Swords. Oh, immediately I thought being free of something. So I have the Nine of Pentacles here. They tend to be independent. Um, successful, secure in themselves. Four of Pentacles, this wanted to come out earlier. This is so interesting. Tell me about the Fool. I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm trying to get some clarity here. Why is the Fool here? What's this Fool energy about Spirit? Oops, the Queen of Swords. King of Wands.
Okay, Taurus, so this is what I'm getting. Remember, this is not going to resonate for everyone, so just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So I'm getting you or your person because this is both of your energies. This is what's going on in your connection. So both of you are here. You or your person are trying to decide what to do about how you feel. Because I feel like this is someone that's holding back their feelings or their emotions. And they have to make a decision on whether to express what they're feeling or I feel walk away from something. Especially with the King of Swords and King of Wands, it's almost like making a decision to act here with the Fool. Discussing something. The Knight of Cups, the King of Swords is here. Because I feel like someone's holding back for Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Moon. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Two of Swords. There's an inner conflict I feel that someone's having. Um, Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. There could be something here within the home, a connection, a commitment. But it's interesting that I have so many court cards here. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Swords, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. There could be multiple people involved here. Drama within a group of people, drama within a family. But I'm also picking up someone's almost like undecided. This is like an inner battle. And again, this guarded energy with the crossed arms here with the Two of Swords and the same here with the Four of Pentacles. What is going on here? And again, this is about a new beginning. It's like someone's deciding or needing to decide to be free of something. If this is resonating for you, please let me know down in the comments. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody deciding to cut out a family, cut out a commitment, um, head towards something that's more stable, more secure with the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost like someone wants to know what else is out there. So let's see how you're feeling about each other because this is very interesting. I feel like at least one of you is, is going through like an identity crisis almost. All right, Taurus, let's see. Spirits, angels, guides. Tell me more about Taurus and the person they are in a connection with spirit. What are they thinking or feeling about each other? Taurus, I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies. They resonate more for you. Tell me about Taurus. What is Taurus thinking or feeling when it comes to this other person? If you hear that in the background, it's just raining. What's Taurus thinking or feeling, Spirit? What is Taurus thinking? I wish I could go back in time. What is this person that Taurus is dealing with? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? The person that Taurus is dealing with, what are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? Thinking or feeling about Taurus. The, the path I am on is leading me straight to you. Okay, so this card is really about someone that's almost like on a journey. A spiritual journey, life journey. And this journey is leading them to you. Give me some more clarity, insight. I'm wondering why you want to go back in time here. Can I get some more insight, please? I haven't even asked for who, but the dragonfly is there. Okay. Can I get some more insight, please? 
more insight, please, about Taurus. Please tell me about Taurus. Fire and bat. Wow. The eagle, and it was reversed. Interesting. I'm going to leave it reversed. The bat is kind of like the death card of this deck. It's the card about endings, transformations. The fire and this is kind of like the five of wands. There's aggression, conflict, drama here. Now the eagle, when it's upright, it's a card about karmic fire. Um, let me look at that card. And it's interesting because I have the, the bat here as well. It's, it's transformative energy. The noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. When the eagle appears, you'll be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves. Grasp, grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. When out of balance, is kind of like controlling energy. Interesting. So the fact that this is reversed is almost like there's a resistance here. I feel like you have been resisting having a change or a transformation. And I'm wondering why this is bring, being brought up in this connection. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies when it comes to Taurus? What are their energies when it comes to Taurus? Now this energy of the path I am on is leading me straight to you. This could be somebody that you don't know yet. The black egg. So this is a spiritual card. It's a card about speaking your inner authentic voice. It's a card about almost like the, the truth and nothing but the truth. So someone I feel is uh, speaking the truth, speaking from their authentic voice. Um, this is somebody who is doing a lot of soul searching here with the black egg. Let's get some more energies. This is such an interesting reading. It could be that somebody has something to tell you. Maybe a truth they need to express. But I'm also getting a path, a spiritual path. Like maybe this is somebody new. Somebody that's headed your way towards. Someone that you haven't met yet. I do see that it could be that as well. If this is somebody that you're already in a connection with, I feel like they have something to tell you. Maybe they've been going through something on their own and now they'll eventually make their way to you with this truth. Tell me about Taurus. Can I get some more insight into Taurus and the energies they're bringing to this connection? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future, poetic justice. Hmm. Anything else for Taurus? Unhealthy attachment. Taurus, this is such a, a very specific reading. I feel like some of you are getting divorced or breaking an unhealthy attachment, having poetic justice here. Destiny has brought you together, union meeting destiny. So it's almost like eventually you're going to meet someone, I feel. Because this is coming together. This is something that's happening. And I feel like this is happening. Yeah, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Parting ways. Parting ways. Hidden feelings. Coming together. It's, I feel this is all connected. I don't know if you have your eye on someone else and are married. Or if your person has their eye on you and they're married. But I feel like there's something here where you're getting poetic justice regarding like something unhealthy and unhealthy attachment. Tell me about the person. Oh my God, there's walking away. My deck, my deck just want to talk today. Tell me about the person. Hold on a second. Should I take these? I'll just take these. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies? You see, my deck is just going crazy today. Anything else for the person that Taurus is dealing with? Okay. This is way too many, but we're going to go with it. Patiently waiting, bountiful harvest, reaching out here. Burdened heart and wishing well. Unexpected event at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is somebody that's going through some sort of situation in their own life. Um, I feel like they've been waiting to reach out here or waiting for someone because I have wishing well. So once again, I feel like for some of you Taurus, um, or Torians that are watching this reading, 
I don't know what the plural is there. Um, I feel like some of you are walking away from a connection because of another person, or you're walking away from a connection and eventually you're going to meet this person. I see both ways here. Um, I feel like you're both being led to each other if that's the case. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to fit all of this here. I'm just going to have to like double them up, I guess. Let's get some more insight by you and this other person here. But I find it very fascinating that we have the bat and the eagle together because those two cards are like complete and total change. It's almost like um, like the death card and the tower together and even throw in the wheel of fortune. Thanks. It's regarding Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know, Spirit? Tell me about Taurus. And I feel with the eagle reverse, it's almost like this has been delayed or blocked in some way. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus, please. We have the Eight of Swords. Tell me more about Taurus. The energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection. Okay. Wow. Judgment and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's almost like fear of this truth or a clarity or awakening. Or perhaps someone feels a bit tied or bound um, and is wanting a rebirth. Judgment is about looking at the past and learning from the past. It's an awakening. It's something that hits you and you have to pay attention. Judgment is also a card about karma. It could be a card about past karma. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. I don't know what's going on with my deck. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, please, for Taurus. Why is the Eight of Swords here? So I feel you have a desire. With the Nine of Cups, there is a wish here. A desire. Something that would make you very happy. Something that I feel you already know you want. Queen of Swords is a very decisive energy. Um, she does not, she's not easy to approach. Um, she's been hurt before, is very guarded because of it. But when it comes time to, to really make things happen, she does. She cuts out anything in her way. She addresses anything in her way. But I feel like you haven't done this. I feel like you have hesitated. Maybe you've only thought about this. my god what is going on with my deck today strength yeah scorpio i'm not scorpio leo energy oh my god i am all discombobulated i don't know what's going on taurus and the hermit card virgo energy yeah this is it's almost like once again um you're seeking answers seeking clarity and i feel like you're also seeking courage maybe you're listening to your intuition maybe you're listening to your inner voice maybe you're reflecting on what it is that you truly want because i feel like there's confusion for you almost like you're not really sure here what it is that you want what what it is that would make you truly happy maybe you have a lot of responsibilities or a lot of um attachments here because i have the eight of swords this person's bound tied tell me about judgment why is judgment here wow ace of pentacles why is judgment here? King of Wands, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I, I, I hope that the rain is not too loud. I hope that you can still hear me on the mic. So I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder. I'm sorry if that's annoying. <laughs> so the Eight of Cups is here, which is a card about walking away. Literally, these two cards are walking out. And look, the Chariot after that, Cancer Energy. So this very clear, very clear energy. This is someone that's walking away after having a realization. 
And I feel like on the other side is a gift or an offer or an opportunity. Maybe you've been waiting just to have finances. This is someone that has been doing research, communicating with certain people, looking into things, observing information. Information that leads them to take action. This is what I'm seeing. This could be an offer from another person, this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you've been talking to somebody and it, and it motivates you to make this move. Or maybe you're just ready for something new and you're want, wanting to know what else is out there. When I leave the situation, what is on the other side? Is something more, you know, is it going to be my Nine of Cups? Because after the Eight of Cups is the Knight of Cups. So, very distinct possibility that you find it, Taurus. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me about this person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Queen of Cups. Tell me about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies? The Fool. King of Cups. Five of Cups. Interesting. So there's love here. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. A lot of water energy. There's regret with the Four of Cups. Someone looking at the past. Someone sad. Missing something in their life. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Wow, the lovers. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? The Magician. So I feel like this is somebody that's almost wondering, like, where is my person? You know, maybe they've been through a lot in their life. Maybe they are missing you or perhaps they're just missing something in their life and they want to make, make it happen. Yeah, this person has been through it with the Nine of Wands. They've been through hell and back here, been hurt in the past. Maybe they have some baggage, trust issues, perhaps. Ace of Wands is here and the Fool. So I feel like this is some something new for you. I feel like this is someone new or this is someone that's doing something new so for example if you've been in a connection with this person which i feel like a lot of you this isn't your main connection that's kind of what i'm picking up but let's say that this is somebody that you've been connecting with for a while i feel like this person is going to do something new and it's going to affect your connection in some way for a lot of you i'm picking up this is someone new in your life this is someone coming towards you tell me about the fool Why is the Fool here? Why is the Fool here? The Star and the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Aquarius Energy and then the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is new love. This is someone new for a lot of you. This is something new. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Pentacles. I think a lot of you might hold back from this person. Or this person might hold back from you. Ten of Wands. I think that this is the person that's kind of like dealing with certain situations. Which I feel is kind of both of you actually. I feel like you're both dealing with some stuff. But I think you more, more, than, it, more, more than this person for sure. Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone here is dealing with... Oh, there could be a third party here. But I feel like someone is kind of holding back from really going all in here. And I don't know if this person is holding back because they want to hold back or because you're kind of forcing them because you're holding back. You know what I mean? Like maybe they want to go all in and you're like, not sure. Maybe you want to get done with all of this stuff here that you're dealing with. 